penetration, but uh, they couldn't get Hart Hartman. He gets the corner. He's out to the 40. Good straight drop. It rushed heavily and hit as he throws. Herman back makes the catch, leans it, touchdown! Vinsler drops back and lofts a pass over the center. Caught for a touchdown. Throws, but he's got Open. Gatlin. Oh, but he nice makes catch. a great leaping grab. I love where it's Homecoming 2005. Tonight, the Red Wings will take on Green Bay West. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, a uh, big game for Sheboygan South. Uh, we read in the paper the other day that uh, every conference game now is very important for making the playoffs. Yeah, there's only four teams that go to the playoffs. They had a tough uh, road trip. They went up to Green Bay, Notre Dame, and lost. And last week, uh, made the score a little bit closer at the end, getting a couple onside kicks, losing to Manitowoc. But right now, their goal is to make the playoffs. You know, the conference is a little bit out of, out of their reach. And uh, nothing spells a uh, chance for victory than bringing in Green Bay West. <laughs> Uh, Green Bay West comes in 0-5 on the year, and I went over the roster with Sim Safford out in, up in the press box, and a lot of names crossed off, and uh, maybe a little bit discord on, on the west side. Yeah, I was looking at the roster before the crossover. I don't know about that. They only had 11 seniors on the roster before that hand. Uh, you're talking about a team that's been outscored 143-22, to 22, and a team that's still looking for themselves, and you know, they do have a senior quarter, quarterback in Kevin Dart, but besides from that, they're probably a very, very young football team. The one bugaboo for South has been turnovers, and uh, you know turnovers can just turn a game around. You never know, and uh, we found that out with the Packers. You know, with the interceptions and things, but. Uh well, talk about it. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's just been something of a thorn in the side. And a couple comments in the paper by Coach Hine and Coach Pfeiffer about, you know, they, they've been trying to figure out what's been the problem, what's the deal. They said they're going back to fundamentals a little bit, trying to do little things to, to avoid the fumbles. They had like 10 fumbles the last couple weeks and just total mishaps. That's what happened at Notre Dame. They put the ball on the carpet and easy opportunities for Notre Dame. And that game was out of hand before they even had a chance. They had the same problem, if you remember, way back in the first game of the season. So so it's it's just been a nonstop thing. And the times and they haven't fumbled, they've won. Now, I don't know if you can answer this question. I don't know the answer to it, but uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a South game and Tony Gallhart got injured and uh, Taylor Schwartz came in, did a fine job. He had to come in last week at Manitowoc. Who's the quarterback tonight? Well, Tony Gallhart's uh, not suited up. He's going to be cleared for Monday. He got hurt last week, got one up on the head, shoulder area, and uh, took a big, big hit. And uh, he can decide on Monday if he's going to play. So that leaves Taylor Schwartz, uh, number two, in charge. He's a junior. He rallied the troops last week for two touchdowns, one onside kick away from maybe having a chance to win it. But, uh, you know, Taylor played football when he was younger and as and like a freshman, then got hurt as a sophomore as we said and we did see him earlier in the season so he is a little bit experienced and uh what like i said what a game to get that experience got a nice crowd tonight with homecoming uh, and, and get a win tonight i want to know when we're going to get a clicker <laughs> yeah they got a lot of clickers here and there's a lot of fans they got alumni band they brought back a parade so there's a lot of nice things happening over here on the south side we're going to step out for a minute, but don't go away from your TV sets. When we come back, we're going to have a special guest, Bill Klein. He's the principal at Jefferson uh, Elementary and a former associate principal here at South High School. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a time out for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later, dial sensibly, and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. Joining me is Bill Klein, the new principal at Jefferson Elementary. Bill, thanks for coming over, and uh, it's always good to plug Jefferson. I'm the gym teacher, you're the principal. But a uh, lot of things happening at Jefferson this year. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure, we had a great open house in September. Um, the brand new building, it should be done, or most of it completed by the end of March. We're going to move in there beginning of April. Um, got a fantastic staff, great students. 
Um, hoping to get a little more parental support, and things look really good. Now, it's a little bit more than just Jefferson because you're the new principal. You were the associate principal here at South High School. How has that change been for you? Yeah, it's been a great change. I think mainly because of the staff at Jefferson. Um, we had a great school here at South, great students. I can't say enough good things about the students at South. And um, I miss them, but I'm looking forward to all the new adventures at Jefferson. Now, do you still stay connected with South in any way, shape, or form? Yes, I do. I'm going to be working at tonight's game, and then tomorrow I'm going to be working at the dance. And I hear quite a bit from the students, which is really nice. Now, there's maybe some talk around the community. I know there was among the Jefferson community that the building project was uh, way behind in their uh, scheduling simply because they weren't getting the steel, but that not, isn't necessarily the case. Right, it's not the case right now. About 95% of the beams are already up in place, and it looks like they're going to be moving in, like I said, the end of March, beginning of April. Another question that some of our viewers might have is, we're building on the same block as the old school. What's going to happen to the old school, and what about a playground? Well, the old school will be taken down the beginning of April. That should take about a month, maybe even less than that, and then they hope to have a playground area in that where the old building was. Now, as we look forward throughout the school year, there's many challenges uh, throughout the district. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you as a principal face at a new school? Getting to know the community a little better. Even though I've been in the district for eight years, uh, there's a big difference between the elementary community and the high school community. Um, having the kids uh, attend on a regular basis, I think we've really promoted that idea. We want kids there on a regular basis and attendance is really important and get parents really involved in the early ages. One of the things that I know you set up was having four of our Jefferson students go to a school board meeting the other night. How did that go? That went really well. They presented all the activities that the kids have been involved with. One of the things we're doing is a community project. We took the kids, the fourth and fifth graders, to a Brewer game about a week ago. We had a fantastic attendance, great cooperation, and the kids really enjoyed it. Bill, I want to thank you for uh, joining us for this uh, little pregame interview. All the best to you, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Yeah, thank you. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff for tonight's ball game. so stay tuned. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, You'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. Both high school and uh, both schools introduced their teams. They didn't introduce a regular starting lineup. And uh, I was looking at these conference stats that uh, Bill Richards sends over to the TV station. and. Uh, very similar in some respects. South is ranked fourth both on offense and defense. Uh, West is ranked last in both categories. Uh, South does have a couple of uh, players that rank high in uh, different categories. Nick Wilson actually leads the conference in uh, receptions with 14. Chris, uh, he's done a good job this year. Yeah, number 19 and uh, been around for a couple years and kind of in the shadow but stepped up a little bit this year. And, you know, one thing... <laughs> You say is, well, you got a receiver leading, but that means maybe you're playing from behind, and so maybe you get the ball a couple more times, and you know, I got a couple last week as we see some of the scores from a week ago. West, of course, got uh, pretty much taken care of by the conference leader, Green Bay Notre Dame, and South there, you see the 29-26 uh, situation. I think they were down like 29-14 or something like that, and they did rally for two, two scores late, but... Uh, uh, Ray Smith also ranked in the conference standings for rushing. Uh, he's ranked number four. But uh, again, it's it's not necessarily the rushing stats as much as the uh, fumble. Yeah, they've had a lot of trouble with that situation, and hopefully they'll clean that up. Uh, one thing, Green Bay West comes in here with a 13-game losing streak. Sheboygan South, on the other hand, has not lost three games since the 2003 season. And uh, another interesting stat I'll tell you when we get started later about the West Sheboygan South uh, rivalry, basically, what we, I mean, games that they played against each other. Anthony Hoytink kicking off to uh, Twitty Marjan. Marjan Twitty, actually, but uh, he doesn't get it. Taken right down. Great tackle for Sheboygan South. Ben Hendricks putting that uh, West uh, receiver on his back. 
Well, Twitty's the leading uh, ball carrier for West at 197 yards so far in conference play. He's just a junior, and as I said in the opening, they only have about 11 seniors total on the game, so it's a very young football team and not a lot of numbers on the, uh, in the white jerseys. Kevin Dart, a senior, goes 6'3", 215 pounds as a starting quarterback. Marjan Twitty is the deep back, and he gets it through the line of scrimmage. Picks up about four yards before he's wrestled down. Hendricks again getting off the pile, along with Jake Schur. Well, another thing that uh, you may have heard of uh, Kevin Dart, he also played basketball, I believe, for the last two seasons for the uh, Wildcats. Second down and four ball spotted on the 35 yard line. First series of the game, no score. Dart on a quick out, that's a backward lateral. Spinning away from Jamal Johnson was the receiver. We oh, got a number on that guy. 44, Tim Devely. Yeah, he's their leading receiver. He's got 10 catches for 103 yards this season. Well, South wins this ball game. It'll be the first time since 1975-77 that they've defeated West. All time, uh, West, this is a 66 uh, meeting. Uh, West has won 49 and South is 15. They've tied one time also, Marty. Loss of one on that play makes it third and five. Pitch out to Twitty. And he's spun down. He's gonna be short of the first down. Johnson making a pretty good play, fighting off a blocker and then making the stop. Well, it's gonna be fourth and about a yard, Marty. West is trying to decide what to do. It looks like they're gonna send in their punting unit. There you see co-coach Dave Pfeiffer. I saw his son Jacob before. Fortunately for Jacob, he's gonna have a little surgery. But uh, talking to him before and... and he's uh, being redshirted his yeah. first year. Just gives him a chance to be bigger. But uh, he'll have four years left. Johnson back to receive the punt. Oh, in other games, they had uh, other return men back there. Kick is away by Kloss. Johnson fumbles it and then he dives on it outside the 30 yard line at about the 32. The first and 10, Sheboygan South, their first possession of the game. Ball is gonna be spotted, we'll call it the uh, 32 yard line. Well, you know very well, Marty, that West traditionally, or in, in this conference, has won the most conference championship in football. It's just been some of the changes over the last few years that uh, things haven't been going so well. That's for sure. Wilson in motion, short set quarterback, hands it off to Smith. He gets through the line of scrimmage, but only a short gain. Well, West playing it tough on that first ball carry by South. West has lost their games by an average of 34 points a game this year. What you wanna do is take care of the ball, have a nice opening drive. I didn't like to see Johnson put that ball on the turf right away to start. That's the last thing that uh, the coaching staff wanted, but no South, kidding. <laughs> South has the ball and see what they can do with it. Second down and eight. Wilson is wide to the right. Fake handoff, Taylor Schwartz rolls out. He's got his man Billman, but it goes right through the hands of Jake. Jake Billman, normally a very dependable receiver. Yeah, here you see a good shot of Jake, senior. I think probably the best fullback in the conference. And as you said, Marty, that's something he won't do very often. Third down and eight. One thing Taylor does do when he throws his passes, coach, he puts a little mustard on it. By that, I mean he throws hard. His dad said we're supposed to give him updates on Yankee scores. Or should we say Red Sox scores as the day progresses today? Yeah. Smith through the hole, he's gonna get close to a first down before he's hit down outside the 40. Which foot is he gonna put it on? Oh, he puts it in the back part. I think we're gonna get a measurement here. Ray Smith on a good carry. I think he's gonna be short by a little bit, Coach. Be an interesting decision for uh, co-coach Dave Pfeiffer. He runs the offense. I think he's gonna go. Good eyes, Ooh, Marty. wow. I didn't think it was that close, Coach. 
He looked right at uh, Coach Hine, and the two of them shook their head, yes, we're going for this one. Why not? You got a good, solid defense up there. Big front line. See Jake, if they run behind number 63. Jacob Noldner in there, along with uh, Andy Lancer. They're the tight ends. Smith is a deep back. See if Taylor Schwartz just goes with a quarterback sneak. Nope, hand it off to Smith. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage. Great penetration by the West Wildcats, and South didn't get it. I think I would have quarterback sneak too there, Marty. Yeah, I thought I'd rather seen that play. And the reason I say that is because you always start a couple yards back. You know, I say yeah. that, he would have gone right through and probably would have scored. But I'm just saying, sometimes you get that short yardage, just a little push, especially in high school. Just with that nice big front line of South, get that little push there, but... Uh, no, no push that time. Nope, good job by the Wildcats. Very good penetration on that uh, right side of the uh, Red Wing line. I think it was a good call to go for it, though. Uh, I do, too. Twitty hit at the line oh. of scrimmage, and Jamal Johnson comes in, and no, that was... Uh, Adam Jake, Math. Or Jacob Sure too, was also in there, but they uh, put a good hit on him and pushed him back. He did gain two yards, Twitty did. Second down and eight. Kevin Dart barks out the signals. Puts a man in motion and a pitch out a little bit behind Twitty, but he is able to handle it. And a good solid tackle made out there by Adam Math. Oh, you don't, they don't come any better than that, Chris. Yeah, nice open field tackle, nice and low. That was a loss of three yards on that play. Adams just 5'7 and a buck 50, but I'll tell you what, played like it was 225 and six foot two there. It's not always the size, but sometimes the technique. And uh, you know what they say? It's not the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. Yep. And Adams got the fight. Looking to blitz, South comes, Dart rolls away from pressure. His pass is through the hands of the intended receiver, Alex Klaus. Oh yeah, nice job by Dart to get out of the uh, pressure there and roll out. Little left-hander there, and I think Klaus just dropped that ball. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they had a long ways to go because it looked like Dart, once he got outside, had some running room, but not enough to get the 11 yards. There you see uh, Chris Hine, co-head coach in charge of the defense, and uh, got to be pretty happy with his team so far defensively. Johnson back deep, Klaus doing the punting. Can't put it on the turf this time. A good punt by Klaus, and then Johnson lets it roll down inside the five yard line. There would have been a case where you want to pick it up and run with it, see what you can get. But a great punt by Klaus, and uh, West has Salt backed up inside the five yard line. Ball is going to be spotted at somewhere between the Two and the three, Chris, or the three and the four? First down, 10, we'll call it the three yard line. Long way to go. Uh, very long. Now you gotta take care of the ball, boys. First back through is Billman, trying to gain yardage. It's a scrum out there. And that time, a pretty good push by South. Good blocking up front, throwing the lead block was John Lindsay, number 63. Well, good decision there. Give it to your money man, Jake Billman. Gain a six on the play by Billman. Yeah, a lot of just good late pressure there by the offensive line, and Jake Billman just driving those legs forward to get those extra yards. Second down and about four. Ray Smith has a hole, cuts it back. He's got some running room. He's out over the 30, or over the 20, pardon me, and near the 30-yard line. First down for South. Good cutback by uh, Ray Smith. Exactly, good cutback exactly. Now you, you get yourself uh, in a situation where you're out of your own uh, 
basically end zone out to the 30 where he can work a little bit. 21 yard pickup by Ray. First and 10 south. Smith averaging uh, 6.1 yards per carry in conference play. And uh, he's at, at that pace and then some tonight. Has 30 yards and four carries. Fake, Schwartz back, drills to wide receiver Billman, or pardon me, the fullback Jacob Billman, but uh, pretty good defense played by uh, West. Second down and 10. Tyler Maddock there thought he'd have that picked off there. Got to look off your receivers a little bit, Taylor. Because uh, West was right on that one. Wide out this side is Brent Halverson, number 12. Wilson is wide on the right side. Smith alone set back. He takes it through the hole. That's Billman. Billman was the up back. And uh, gained the first down. Good run by Billman. Now they're starting to motor a little bit. Yep, ball spotted at the 43. That's a 13 yard pickup by uh, Jacob Billman. Again, it's uh, Halverson wide left and Wilson wide right. Billman the lone setback. We got a two tight end set. Wilson on the catch, drags a tackler forward over the 50. Making the stop for West was Adam Jagodinski. Well, probably something the coaches saw a little bit. A little cushion there for Nick Wilson and get one of your weapons the ball there. 15th conference catch of the year. Seven yard pickup on that play. And they're uh, halfway to pay dirt. Second down and three. Hand off to Smith. He's through the line of scrimmage. He's got the first down and he's Ripped down after the first down, making the nice stop for West was uh, Brandon Gabriel. That's something here, Marty. We keep forgetting that Smith is just a sophomore. And we'll see him for another two and a half years unless he decides to turn pro. All <laughs> right. Ball spotted on the 45 yard line. Fake to the first back, and then Schwartz fumbles it. And I think West has it. Well, he put it in the belly of Billman, then he pulled it out, and at that point, West stripped him of the ball. And uh, we talked about it, we've read about it, and unfortunately, now we've seen it. First and 10 West. First back through Twitty. Twitty was the uh, fullback in that uh, set coach. And they gave it to him through the line of scrimmage and uh, he gained a pretty good chunky yardage. Give him seven on the carry. 10 fumbles last week. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I think we won our senior season and didn't have 10 fumbles. I may be wrong, but. You gotta keep your uh, eye on Marjan Twitty. He's a good running back. Yeah, he's a little scat back back there. He's the up back again. He gets around to the outside. He's down to the 20, inside the 10, and he's knocked out of bounds at about the two. Did they give him the touchdown, Chris? He stepped out at the two, and they gave him a touchdown. Holy mackerel. That was a 42-yard gain. I'd like to see that one again. By Twitty. I got a swore he went out of bounds. Well, it's a 42-yard touchdown run. Oh, and West is going for the PAT. I like to see that replayed again. Yeah, really, not that it matters. You don't have replay in high school. 
Snap is good, the set is good, and the kick is good. That was Brock Prosser kicking that ball through with 3.51 remaining in the there first it quarter. It's 7-0 West, and here we're gonna see if he made it to the end zone. Oh, it looked like he went out of bounds at about the two or the three. Great camera work by Nick Dryfurst. Nick, uh, his first time up on top. Chris, he forgot to wear uh, gloves and extra jacket, <laughs> but uh, he got that play. Uh, Nick is a 2000 graduate of South. I guess they didn't want Kim back. They didn't want those North Northside people doing the Southside games. I was looking at the wind and the, well, excuse me, the flags of, of, for the wind, and it was really windy all day. But tonight, it's calm as can be. Supposed to be just another pleasant weekend here in your local Sheboygan area. Well, I'll tell you that uh, shocked me. You know, they're moving uh, Marjan Twitty around, moving him from up back to tailback. Then I last touched him, by the way, he was the tailback. And uh, can't let him get to the outside, he's too quick. Halverson and Johnson are back deep. You know, talking about the fumble thing, Chris, after a while, it's, it becomes a mental thing. It's not even yeah. physical anymore, it's just mental. And you know, and you know you worked on it all week. Um, they work hard on it. It's not like Taylor wants to fumble the ball, and sometimes it just happens. And Prosser's kick is a short one. It's gonna be picked up by Johnson at the 20. Trying to get to the outside. He's through. He gets eludes one tackler. He could go all the way. Nobody's gonna catch him. No flags on the field. Jamal Johnson with a 79-yard kickoff return, Chris. He picked that up at about the 21. And a good way for South to come back. There you see the homecoming crowd. Excited about that. We had a chance for us to see Alex Eisner. She was kicking some bombs in the preseason. Here you'll see the replay there. I saw the illegal block that they didn't call. I thought I saw that back there too. And uh, Art Nylans decided to just let that pickle go. And I don't know, that's, that's one replay we didn't want to see that. But uh, there you see it for Johnson. Regardless, both ways, the officials missed the one on the two and maybe they missed that block. Alex Eisner's kick is true. And that with 3.38 remaining in the first quarter, it's now seven to seven. A lot of homecoming festivities this uh, week, Chris. I know they had you know, special days each day as they moved through the week, and uh, they had a homecoming parade prior to the game, and uh, the big dance is tomorrow night. Well, it was nice that they had a parade. They brought that back today. See a little 1984, how many was it? 94 yards. Well, they'll have to let West score again so Jamal can try and get it to be longer. Alana. Line drive kick. Picked up. And eluding one tackler was Anthony Lehman, but uh, not the second and third. I'll tell you what, South needed something. It was that kickoff return because uh, after the fumble and the big return against the defense, it was nice to see the special teams contribute and get them right back in the ball game and right back to even. And Alex Diedrich making the uh, stop, and he got a little bit of help from Adam Math. It's gonna be first and 10 west. Ball spotted right on the 35 yard line. Don't let Twitty get to the outside. Twitty the first back, he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Brad Brookens was on top of the pile. I didn't get the number of the guys underneath him, but uh, Twitty, not much on that carry. Give him two yards on the play. It's gonna be second and eight. We're all tied up. Three minutes and counting at seven to seven. Dart fake, they're gonna give it to uh, 
Devely on a reverse, and he dies for the first down marker, and it's gonna be close. Well, he head butted the, the uh, first down marker. <laughs> and he's still down. That yard marker's tough. Devely uh, feeling a little pain. Here you see him on one knee. He got a little shook up. He didn't get the first down, but he did pick up about six or seven yards, and uh, he did bend the first down marker. They're trying to fix the yard marker here. Well, we got about third and one here, huh? Third and one. South's real in tight. Hit near the first down marker was uh, Twitty, I believe that was. They got to spot it on the right foot or the left foot. He moved his feet, so now I think, I think he got it, and he did. They didn't even make a measure. Oh. <laughs> Come on. First and 10 west. Even though the ball is just shy of the 45, we'll call it the 45. There you see Jeff Thorne in the white. He's my first partner with TV8. He taught me a lot. Unfortunately, I forgot most of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a great partner. Great guy. Twitty spun off or got off a couple of tacklers and then it took two or three more guys to get him down, but uh, South stopped him for a no gain. Math and Johnson. In on the stop, along with Kyle Reiter. Give Twitty a gain of one, it's gonna be second down and nine. He's picked up a lot of carries, Chris. 130 and counting. Fake pitch, dart, trying to roll, trying to avoid a tackler, he does. And he throws the ball upfield, and he's got his receiver for the completion. No, they're calling it incomplete. The dart is very slippery, Chris. Not yeah. being able to make the catch was Alex Klaus. Kind of juked him there. Now, dart's a pretty good basketball player, if I remember, too. Yep. Kind of dart. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, darted away from Hoytank <laughs> on the... Situation, I should have watched what I said there. Third down and nine. 122 remaining. Dart back, I don't think he's gonna slip by. He does, he got by two south defenders. Loops the pass to his uh, running back, Twitty, and then he's hammered down just short of the 50 yard line. There's a whole lot of stuff going on there, Marty. You got that right. That tough. pass went for uh, three yards. Tough pass for a left-hander throwing it back across his body, running to the opposite side. And you said it just kind of floated out there, but I think you're gonna force West into a punt here. So we're clicking down under a minute in the first quarter. It's Johnson back. Last time he touched the ball, he went 79 yards. Punt is away. Uh, takes a little bit of a west bounce. Johnson picks it up, scoots through, shows some good speed. He puts the ball on the carpet and West has it. Oh man, cover that ball up. And a West player is down, that's uh, Brock Prosser. He's got the ball, he's up, he's okay. Uh, what's the delay about, coach? There you see Johnson streaking through, and he's just tackled and separated from the ball, and uh, Prosser lands on top of it. Well, there was a face mask, Marty, so is it still a fumble, or is it a, they keep, does West keep the ball and they go back 15 yards? I think they have to determine when did the face mask happen. Was it before or after the fumble? And that would determine possession. Holy cow, South is gonna keep it. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened, Chris, but... Uh, I think I could think of it, he was out of bounds, but I don't know if that's true either. Oh, unless yeah. the tackler came from out of bounds to make the stop, Chris. 
That's probably what did happen. But, uh, oh well, we play on. First and 10 south, ball on the 35. What a break. Johnson has it, he's at the 40, 45, and dropped at about the 50 yard line. That will probably be the last play of the quarter. 15 yard pickup. Clock running. Seven, five. I don't think they'll get it off. That's it. At the end of one quarter of play, we're all tied up. Green Bay West seven, Sheboygan South seven. Time is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. And will you be ready financially? Are you ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. <laughs> Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. One breakthrough machine gave us insight into the bones, as another did for the heart and another for the brain. Now doctors are using a new machine to practice medicine and save lives. The difference is, it's one you can use too. When you log on to MedlinePlus.gov from the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health, you're tapping into the largest, most comprehensive. There they are, the family of Lindsay's. John Lindsay's got relatives here from all over. You can see there, Big John, number 63. The returning lineman for South as Smith runs for a, about a five yard gain, Marty, four yard gain. But uh, they have, John's got relatives here from Texas and Illinois and all the way from here in Sheboygan. Just to see him and they got some shirts to surprise Big John and there he is. Big anchor of the line and as, as I said a year ago was just a junior on that senior laden crew but now he is the guide to all those, those younger uh, guys have been the big meat, meat and potatoes for the uh, offensive line. Hey, it's second down and six. South has it. Fake handoff. Taylor Schwartz hit as he throws. Leaping attempt made by Jacob Noltner, but he was not able to come down with it. And uh, boy, you throw a pass like that under pressure, really exposing yourself to the uh, risk of injury. Well, that's two times in a row that uh, They've kind of run that play action and blue leg the opposite way. I'll tell you what, West is staying home in their assignments and uh, they're right in there on uh, Taylor and you're right, a quick delivery there, fortunately for him, but he probably took a little lick in there. Third down. Quick throw to uh, Wilson, he makes the catch at the 45, but it's only gonna be for a gain of one. And it'll be fourth down. Coach Pfeiffer doesn't like that decision by Taylor Schwartz and letting him know, hey, you need to get eight yards down. You can't run a, a, a four yard pass there. It's gonna be fourth down and five. Anthony Hoytink in the punt. Back deep for West is Lehman. He signals for the fair catch and makes it right at the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 10 west, 10.38 remaining until halftime. Well, West playing a good game here so far, Chris. They're really giving uh, South a fight. And uh, you know, there are a couple times when they had momentum and lost it right away, but uh, you know, they've recovered from both of those uh, incidents, I guess you might say, to uh, continue to play on and play tough. I agree with you. Twitty is the deep back. He gets a handoff, trying to take it off tackle, and it scoots to the outside and uh, gets a short game. Adam Math uh, making the solid tackle again. Twitty a short gain, maybe one or two yards, we'll give him two. He had uh, 60 
two yards and nine carries in the first quarter, Chris. Second down, Dart under center. He's been there all night. Twitty the second back through. He's hit right near the line of scrimmage. Lunges forward for a couple. Uh, making the stop was Ben Hendricks. Marjan Twitty, there you see him. He's coming off. Get a well-deserved rest. Ball is spotted on the 25. Twitty ran for two that time. Passing situation for yeah. uh, West. Third and six. Now this is a case where if Dart gets to the outside, he might be able to scramble for the first down. Keep, keep containment on him. Dart straight back, rifles a throw. It's intercepted by Math. He's got an open route to the end zone. Dart has him, but it's too late. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. Adam Math stepped in front of the intended receiver. Here you're gonna see it right in front. Good play by Adam Math. Jagodinski was the intended receiver, but uh, a great pickoff by Adam Math. All right, defensive backs, uh, greatest thrill right there, just eyeing up that little out pattern and you step right in front and off to the races on homecoming 2005. Number five gets into the end zone. Kerry, if you get a chance, show that replay again so we can get the yard line and get the yardage for the uh, touchdown. Uh, we're gonna have a chance right now calling a timeout was South as you were attempting to uh, kick the extra point. They must have been a player short. Timeout Sheboygan South. Wow, special teams and a defensive touchdown, Marty. Really, that's uh, bodes well for uh, South here tonight. I'm hoping we can see that replay and get the yardage on the return. It's gotta be close to 40 yards. <laughs> Carrie's down there running that replay machine trying to get her set up. Cue it up, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're having trouble with uh, turnovers, any way you can score is uh, really a bonus, Chris. Uh, yes. It just puts a lot more pressure on the uh, other team. Whoop, <laughs> too late, Carrie. <laughs> you know, the other thing what it does is it, it starts deflating West a little bit. You oh, know, for sure. You're hanging in there. Oh, we got a big score, and then you give up a big kickoff return. You set your offense back out there, and whammo, they turn one over for a TD. And uh, we, By the way, I got to tell our fans this after this extra point. Eisner's kick is a little bit low, but it does clear the upright. It's good. We uh, had some problems with our replay machine a couple of weeks ago, and they got a new one, Chris. And wow. the thing is just super fast. I mean, it's just amazing how well it works. And uh, sometimes the guys will have a little trouble queuing things up. And uh, that's what happened on uh, the replay of the replay. <laughs> but uh, with 9.13 left in the first half, Sheboygan South leads it 14 to seven. Life's so good. Call 1-800-432-TRIP or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Hey, back at South High School, and uh, good shot. Seen the background, the tennis courts, and now the kickoff. Not a long one. And get the number of that uh, return person. But a short kick and a short return. West is gonna have it in pretty good position at the 37 yard line. I'm sure we're gonna have some excellent halftime entertainment, Chris. So we always do, whether it's homecoming or not. And a quick glimpse of uh, Dave Pfeiffer talking to the offense that they wanna get out there and play. Dart in the shotgun, takes a high snap, steps up, throws it, and uh, not able to make the catch was uh, Adam Jagodinski. Good pass coverage by South to uh, knock it away. 
I'm sure our fans can't hear the uh, clickers going on, so I'm gonna entertain our guests. <laughs> John Schrank turned around. Stop doing that. <laughs> Goofballs must be from TV8, Phil. Second and 10. A new quarterback, Chris. Anthony Lehman is hit and sacked by Ben Hendricks back near the 35 yard line. Be a loss of two. Just looking to see where Dart is in this situation. That first pass that was incomplete on this drive was by uh, Lehman also. It's gonna make it third down and 12. Marjan Twitty is the uh, deep back. West has wide receivers left and right. Now going in motion was Devley. Fumble, and we get flags all over the place. Legal motion on West, Marty, and all of a sudden this West team that was uh, right there with South looks like the team that's 0-5. Uh, oh Third down and 17. I don't know why you would take out Dart unless he has something to say to the coaching staff as he came off the field. Well, he might have been hurt too. You know, he's standing there okay, so I I don't know about that. I... Lehman uh, ducks under center. Goes straight back, steps up in the pocket, throws a deep pass. Devley trying to make the leaping catch, but can't. He was covered up by uh, Kyle Reuter. And it's gonna be fourth down. Back deep is uh, Johnson and Halverson, I believe that is, for South. Kick is away by Klaus. Line drive, Johnson takes it right at the 35. Tries to cut back, he does. Spins around, he's at the 50, 45. Gets away from a tackler, he's gonna be inside the 40 before he's finally roped down. Great return by Jamal Johnson, and he hung on to the ball. He's making an impact on defense and special teams. He's got a kickoff return for a TD, and this is a nice Oh, there's your little PlayStation spin coming up. Whoop. And there goes the West guys down. And watch him pull away from this one. Too bad there was other West tacklers there to the side to tackle him. But South's in great field position, Marty. 31 yard return by Johnson. Second back through is Smith. He spins off one tackler. Lunging forward still on his feet before he's finally knocked down at about the 32 yard line. Good strong run by Ray Smith. Well, West is, or excuse me, South is winning the field position battle as well. That defense is constantly keeping West pinned. And now, in return for that, that great defense, you get good field position for your offense and really shorten it up. Second down for South. Billman, the up back. He takes a, no, he, Schwartz pulls it out, trying to get to the outside. And he's near the first down. Good tackle made by Green Bay Wests. Here you saw a good shot of Coach Hine discussing things with the defense. Taylor Schwartz looked a little tentative there when he was running that hole, but... Uh, yeah, he didn't get the number of that tackler either. He wasn't on the, on the list. That's because he got so many crossed off. <laughs> well, they don't even have a 24 on here. At least I thought <laughs> that's who the guy was, but uh, oh well. Yes, they do have 24 out there, but he's not in here on the not program. On the program, no. Well, it's a gain of three and a first down for South. We're at 6.55 remaining until halftime. Ball spotted on the 28 yard line. Very interesting half. Uh, I don't know if exciting would be the word. I think it's interesting because there's, we've seen a lot of things you don't normally see in a football game. Big handoff, Schwartz drills Billman. He's got it at the 20, 15, the 10. 
and he's knocked down at the five yard line. Well, that time good play. pass and catch there. I was going to say that time play action worked, Marty. Kind of froze the linebackers, and two receivers were actually open. Number 99, Andy Lancer, who we even mentioned his name, was, he was wide open, and the safe route was there, Billman. And this is Lancer helping collect a couple of more uh, yards for Billman as he's blocking downfield. Pickup of 22 makes it first and goal south at the five yard line. Billman the up back, Ray Smith is the deep back. We have uh, wide receivers left and right. Billman in motion, they give it to Smith going the other way. And he's knocked down inside the five, maybe to the three. And now they're gonna move it back, Chris. Let's call it a one yard pickup. Second and goal from the four. Lancer's the tight end on the left side. Duquette and Wilson wide on the right. Smith again, pounds through the middle of the line. He's into the end zone, touchdown. Great blocking up front there, you see it. Good push by Sheboygan South, interior lineman, and South now leads it 20 to seven, pending the extra point. Everybody's contributed now. Offense, defense, special teams, each got a score. And uh, what seemed to be a very, very tight-knit ball game, all of a sudden, just like that, in the last basically four minutes, we've gone from a 7-7 ball game to a 21-7 lead for your Red Wings, pending this extra point by Eisner. Snap is down, kick is up, and it's good. With 5.34 remaining until halftime, South leads it 21-7. For me, it's giving the best of myself. For me, it's the professional team environment and the mutual respect that I share with my colleagues. For me, it's providing my patients with the best and safest care possible. For me, it's having the latest in healthcare technologies and the privilege of providing the best healthcare to America's veterans. We are the nurses of VA. VACareers.com, a career in caring. Back at South High School there, you see the fans are uh, pretty excited about this lead. What's that, a North, Sheboygan North sweatshirt in the crowd? Did you see that? They actually let them in? Hey, I heard some on the radio this morning. The White Sox do not want any Cub fans at their playoff games. <laughs> <laughs> they are not invited to the party. Can you imagine that? Picked up at the 19-yard uh, line. Twitty gets it out over the 30 before he's knocked down. First and 10 for Green Bay West. Well, it's time for the old knockout blow right here, Marty. You've got West down on the canvas. If they get back up, it's time to put them right back down on canvas and the uh, South defense, that's your job right here. You got a 21 to seven lead. All the momentum with you here. Don't put any life into the West offense. First and 10 West, ball spotted on the 31. Twitty slips one tackler, but then he's uh, knocked down. Actually getting the tackle for uh, South was number 35, not in the program. Ball spotted at the 34. Pick up a three. Twitty is a deep back. Dart back in at quarterback, Chris. Hands it off to Twitty, who's uh, hit down hard right at the 35. Ben Hendricks getting up off the bottom of the pile, and uh, we've mentioned his name quite a bit. Uh, the defense has been pretty stout the last couple drives here. Pickup of a yard that time by Twitty. It's third down and six for uh, Green Bay West. Dart in the shotgun now. He's got wide receivers off on the left side, two of them. Devley makes a nice leaping catch right outside, just outside the 40. He's gonna be short of the first down by just a little bit. 
He didn't get a very good spot. No, he did not. <laughs> oh, great. You know what, well. Now look where, now they moved it all the way back. Oh God, to 40. that is just terrible. <laughs> West is gonna go for it here, Marty. Time for that defense to step up here. We're gonna get a timeout West. Timeout Green Bay West with 3.37 remaining in the first half. It's 21 to seven, Sheboygan South. Do you know how many kids are risking their health by eating unhealthy foods, stuffing themselves and not getting any exercise? Thank goodness, you got here just in time. Where's the problem? In there. Hey, what's going on, what are you doing? Here, try this, the original fast food. Doctors know that our children need a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, high fiber vegetarian foods to help them grow up healthy. Call for a free booklet or visit kidsgethealthy.org. There you get it. Who holds the city record for most yards rushing in one game? Eric, no, I'll say Nate Bergman. Eric Donable. He's playing for lacrosse. Eric Donable. We had that question a couple weeks ago. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we need new material. <laughs> Andy, Andy's getting old. Told ya, Nate Bergman. Stu and I did that game. 379 yards. I thought it was Eric Donovan. They said that last. I said, oh boy. I don't know. I want to know what record he has then. Because I thought that's the one that he had. No, no, no. What record did Donovan have? I don't know. All I know is I'm right and you're wrong. 379 Eric, yards. Take that. That's for making that jump shot tonight when I was in your face. Which one about <laughs> 12 of them? <laughs> I wasn't in your face on the other 11. <laughs> Yeah, Twitty takes it right up the middle for the first down. I think Dart just kept that. Did he? Yeah, okay, cool. I'll, I'll trust you on that. Most rushing touchdowns. In a game. In a game. You know what's really strange is those players have played within like the last five, six years and there's been all these, you know, years of high school football. That's what shocks me is some of these records are so recent. Dart hands off to Twitty, who darts to the outside, and then he's knocked down. I think uh, what it shows, Chris, is the evolution of offense, because uh, you know, I think back to the offense we ran, and it uh, barely resembled what they do now, especially in terms of the running game with the faking and you know that kind of stuff. Well, there's 2.47 on the clock, and uh, we really would not like to see the white Jersey's getting in the end zone. Dart fakes, it's a devilly trying to get around the end. He does get around one backer, gets around another backer, and then he's finally knocked out of bounds, and a penalty is gonna be called on Hoytink, a late hit. Devilly doing a great job of running and avoiding salt tacklers. That was a, you know, borderline uh, call too, Marty. I know Keith Bondi was on that, and that was right on the edge of the line. You know, if he doesn't come over there, who knows, he might go all the way. Uh, that's a tough call, I think, on Hoytink, and, you know, I thought the same thing. It was kind of, I was wondering myself if they were gonna get a flag thrown there. And unfortunately, when that happens, it's a 15-yarder as well. Oh, West in great position to maybe get a touchdown before the half at 228 remaining. Ball is spotted on the 28 yard line. First and 10. Twitty the deep back. Gajewski is the up back. Fake pitch, Dart keeps it. Trying to cut it back and coming over is Hendricks. Makes a good shot along with number 35. <laughs> we don't have his name. We'll have to get that. Well, that was a straight quarterback sweep coach. And the ball is down to the 25. Pick up a three by Dart. 
That was a good play by Hendricks there. Flying in there. Here we go. Second down and seven. Dart quick out to Devley. Avoids, no he does not avoid. Johnson hangs in there. Good play by Jamal Johnson. Devley uh, proven to be pretty elusive. Pickup of a yard on the play. Third down and six. Ball spotted on about the 24 yard line. Chris trying to get the name of number 35. Dart barking the signals, gives it to Twitty. Oh, he's hitting smacked right at the line of scrimmage. Picks up a couple of yards, not much. Getting off the bottom of the pile was John Valdez. Three yard pickup, makes it fourth down and three. 35 is Steve Bachney. Okay. He made that last play there and it's a fourth and three. And oh, he's, uh, he's on the list here somewhere, coach. Oh, number 46 is now 35, Steve Bakhti. It's a fourth down play for West and we have a timeout on the field. Our next broadcast will be uh, next Friday when Green Bay East invades uh, Sheboygan North. There you go, good shot of the uh, South High bench and Steve Bakhti, number 35. Turn around Steve, you're on TV. Oh, 53 on his helmet and on our program he's uh, 56 <laughs> or 46. <laughs> So somewhere along the line, we'll Sound, get this figured out. Sounds like the new math. Actually, it was the manager's fault. It was supposed to be 35 instead of 53. Right, it's the new math, Marty. We're just not with it. I don't know, I was whipping the fourth, fifth graders today. I was up in the room right at the end of the day, but they are doing uh, math factors. Trying for the extra point for no, West. 37 yard field goal. Field goal, I mean. Wow. Whoa. He booted that one. Oh, right holy. through, <laughs> holy cow. That was Eric Lindstrom. I think he's got a foot, Chris. <laughs> oh, wow. Barry Alvarez watching. <laughs> holy macaroni. Field goal is good by West. And with uh, 27 seconds remaining, the score is 21 South, 10 West. There are two paths a child can take. Sir, try not to move. Still. We have a 28-year-old male. For over 25 years, we've been helping children choose the right one. Communities and schools, helping kids stay in school and prepare for life. And they all come together in a big medal, too. We were just talking about uh, look out for the onside kick because West... Uh, does something that uh, is quite unique. They all gather around the football, sort of. There you see him, and they're gonna all run up and either deploy or he'll kick the ball and all try to get it. West is right there. Ooh, oh, you missed it, Carol. Oh, Nick, who's that up there on top? Nick, you gotta back off on that. <laughs> we'll get it next time. Boot is a line drive. Johnson has it at the 18, he scoots through, tries to avoid a tackler, and then he's knocked out of bounds at about the 35 or 36 yard line. He's been a highlight this first half. No Jamal kid. Johnson's been an impact player. First and 10 for South, 20 seconds remaining until halftime. Well, we're still waiting for a football. There we go.
Schwartz ducks under center. Gives it to Johnson. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Leans forward to the 37 for a pickup of two. And the clock is running. That will, in all likelihood, be the final play of the quarter. And it is. We're at halftime in the 2005 homecoming game where there you see it, Sheboygan South leads it 21 to 10. Firstgov.gov. Brand new student loan applications on the site, baby. This calls for a celebration. <laughs> where we're obsessed with getting you government information. Make it to the dead, Make it. What are those? Government surplus cars for auction. You posted those online last time. No, you did. I'm posting them online this time. Just log on or email us and get what you need. Firstgov.gov. hit me. Applied energy in a forward direction equals human locomotion. What does this all mean, Doc? Well, it changed what does this mean? I thought, wow, this concept might actually change the way we get from point A to point B. I felt like Einstein inventing the telephone. <clears throat> I give you the human foot. Get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons.
back at South High School where the Red Wings lead it 21 to seven. Uh, some interesting stats, not a whole lot of offense at first half, Chris. Uh, West only amassed 106 yards, 98 of that on, on the ground and only eight yards through the air. Uh, their uh, good back, Marshawn Twitty, had 15 carries for 78 yards. He was their offensive star. Sheboygan South, uh, not a lot of offense either, had 114 in the first half, only 84 on the ground. And uh, Schwartz was three for six for 30 yards. Uh, maybe the key play of the whole first half was uh, Dart's pass that was intercepted by Adam Math and returned, uh, we're figuring somewhere around 40 yards for a touchdown. Uh, Ray Smith for South had a, had a big first half, 68 yards and 11 carries, but uh, first down wise, South only had five, uh, West had only three. Yeah, very, as I said, I, it's just an interesting uh, half, uh, to say the least. We saw a special teams touchdown by Jamal Johnson on a kickoff return. We, as you mentioned before, Adam Mass kickoff return, and finally the Interception offense. return. Now. Interception, I'm sorry. And then a 40 yard uh, drive, short drive for South to get their offensive score. Uh, defense has been, you know, stellar at times, and other times you get a couple first downs and you, you sit and wonder a little bit. There's Greg There's Schwartz. Greg way at the bottom there. Yeah, worried about his Yankees a little bit, and of course probably number two out here. Uh, crew doing an excellent job tonight. Brian Andrews on the field camera. Nick Dreifurst up on top. Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials in the truck and assisting him, Andy McKillop. Ball picked up right on the 15 yard line by Halverson, gets it up across the 20, and he's hit and dropped at the 25. Well, that's first the, and 10 south. That's the second time now that Steve Bachney got a block in the back and was not called. I know they got Jamal Johnson's touch on the same thing. He hit the guy again right in front of the official. He's, he's been very lucky with that. And son, you got to watch it because in a couple weeks, another officiating crew might not let you get away with that. You know, the guys are roughing like uh, they got a plane to catch. Yeah, it's just... There's, there was, <laughs> but that's okay. We don't like all those flags on I the field. I think there's been two two penalty flags total today. Schwartz rolling to the right. Drills the right side. Nice diving catch by Wilson at the 40-yard line. A 15-yard pickup. Nice catch by Wilson. Once you're on the ground, though, in high school, you are down. You can't get back up, so that little shot there... It was, uh, it was a freebie. Yeah, it was a freebie and an unnecessary uh, one there. But uh, good to see Taylor get off the schneid a little bit to start the second half and uh, complete his first pass. Billman and Smith in the backfield behind uh, Taylor Schwartz. Drilling the other side, uh, but a short hop. The receiver out there was number 82, Zach Duquette. Second down and 10 for South, ball on the 40. Just starting the second half, uh, real nice halftime entertainment too by uh, Sheboygan South. They know how to put on a good show. Again, it's 21 to 10, South. Fake to the second back through. Drilling it up the field. Trying to make the catch was Andy Lancer, but uh, he was surrounded by uh, the defense, and then we get a late flag come in. I wonder if we're gonna have pass interference. I think what you're gonna get is face guarding, because uh, he, he had his hands, excuse me, he had his back to the ball, put his hands up to kind of deflect it, and they are calling it pass interference, but that's probably why. It wasn't because he hit him early, but you can't face guard and uh, shield like he did, and so that's why they're gonna get the uh, penalty there. You know, I was just thinking a little bit, I was, Talked a little bit to uh, Mr. Benish, the principal here at South High School over halftime. And something that we were kind of saying, or I kind of mentioned to him, is I think that South really needs to have a little confidence here in the second half. Play a good half, build some confidence back. You guys were just on a tear to, you know, before you went on the road and lost two tough ball games. But uh, you're still a good football team, and you just got to start believing in yourselves a little bit. And in a good second half, will show that. First down and 10, ball spotted on the 45 yard line of Green Bay West. Handed off to Billman, dragging tacklers near the first down at the 35. Good run by Billman, good blocking up front by Sheboygan South. Hey, <laughs> 
First down 10 for South, ball on the 35 yard line. Billman with a nice 10 yard run. Again, they fake to him, short straight back. Drills it deep over Duquette's head. Good defense played by Kevin Dart. Dart doing it on both, uh, both sides of the ball, Chris. Yeah, Taylor just overthrew him a little bit there. Tell you what, Jake Billman, seems like every time he touches the ball, he gets big chunks. We see him get the ball a little more often. Lucas Bannock uh, getting ready to snap the ball. Smith uh, runs into a wall by the name of Brock Prosser and was dropped for uh, actually a loss of a yard. Well, they had the blitz up there and uh, not a lot of room for Smith to run. Third down and 11. Play to the outside would have been better on that one. Just, hindsight a, just is, a personal thought. <laughs> hindsight is 2020. You're a great color guy. Well, I was gonna say, you got all the answers, don't you? Taylor Schwartz, of course. Well, Smith, you got to run in there, so <laughs> good luck. Quick out to Wilson, trying to avoid tacklers, but uh, West had him covered up pretty well. He does pick up substantial yardage, but he's going to be short of the first down. Duquette with some good downfield blocking that time as well. It's that... Uh, area Marty where we've talked the last couple weeks where it's too close to uh, punt too far to kick a field goal so and all go that for it, fails huh? yep let's just go for it let's be third down and four ball spotted on the 29 yard line Wilson is way out to the right side Billman in motion pitch out to Smith he's got some blocking out in front he dives forward and then he loses the ball as he's going down. And no, West has call it. him down, Marty. I think he's going to. Uh, he's going to have the first down. Yeah, barely. He's got it. Wow. Well, yeah, Wall is right, Chris. This is twice now South has gotten a break. I don't know. <laughs> on uh, fumbles once with Jamal Johnson and, and now here. I'm glad it's going for the home team. Well, you know, even though you're you're catching a break, it still can't make the coaching staff happy because they're still putting the ball down the floor or on the turf. Second back through is Smith. He has a big hole to run through, and he's piling down inside the 20 near the 15-yard line. I think he's going to be just a hair short of the first down. My name is John Lindsay. My name is Tyler Cartwright. You run behind me. That was a huge hole. Second down and one ball spotted on the 16. Lone setback is Billman. You give it to him, he slides through near the 12 for the first down. Just a quick hitter. Very efficient drive for South that started way back on their 25. Scattering pass and run. First down for South, they're on the 12 yard line. 8.30 and counting in the third quarter. Billman again, the lone setback. South blitzing, but it's picked up pretty nicely. Schwartz now drifting out of the pocket. His pass is over the head of Brent Halverson. Hey, I just saw Helvey downstairs. He had his number 12 jersey on and said he was in. We have a retired physical education teacher by the same name and uh, play here at South. And, he was uh, on that great uh, 1962 team. He was wearing number 12 too and I think he told his wife he wanted to go suit up. That's why he wasn't at basketball tonight. Now, isn't that game. Brent Halverson? He uh, transferred over from Core, I believe. The one that's on in the game tonight. Billman and Smith in the backfield. Yeah, he also played. Hand off to Billman. Gets down near the five yard line before he's wrestled down. He's gonna be short of the first down. I was saying Brent Halverson plays baseball too. I know he played on the Legion team. Ball 
Pick up a six yard by Billman. Makes it third down and four. Wide receivers left and right for the Red Wings. Taylor Schwartz underneath the center. And whistle stops action. Somebody lined up in the neutral zone possibly. Offside on West. Oh boy. Now that's only a half the distance so coach, so I don't think that'll give them salt the first down. No, but it should give them a third and one as opposed to a third and four. And close enough to measure. <clears throat> well, next week, TV8 will be at uh, North High School. North will be hosting Green Bay East in Fox River Valley action. Short by about a yard, maybe a little less. Nice shot there, Brian. Ball is spotted on the three yard line. Again, Duquette is wide right, Wilson is wide left. Ray Smith, the deep back, Jacob Billman, the up back. South looking for the first down, West blitzing. And I believe this time South is gonna have a motion penalty called on them as they reacted to the linebackers moving up. And they don't get half the distance, they lose all five. Yeah. Just the opposite. That's one of those things you always think about. You know, if you're on the defense, it goes half the distance. You get three yards, but if it happens on the offense, you go back five. So now it changes. First, you had probably three different play calls here from third and four call to a third and one to a third and eight. Alex Eisner, get that leg loosened up. Schwartz fakes the handoff and he keeps it himself, gets it down near the five, possibly inside the five. They're gonna go, Marty. Pick up a three yards by Taylor. Makes it fourth down. Three balls spotted on the five yard line. Give it to Billman. Into the end zone, touchdown. Watch him slide off two tacklers and got it in. Nice run by Jacob Billman. A good quick call by South too, not allowing uh, West to uh, get those linebackers up into a uh, blitzing position. Five yard touchdown run by Jacob Billman. Makes it 27 to 10. Just your typical uh, five minutes and 20 second drive and kick is up and good. John Kabai, there you see him trotting off, doing the holding all night. Does a great job with that. With the uh, 6.40 remaining in the third quarter, South on top, 28 to 10. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Back at South High School where uh, Anthony Hoytink kicks off. Taken at the uh, 25 yard line by that West return man and uh, just gets it over the 30. Andy Sorensen on the return for West. Kevin Dart, number 13, coming in. Man the quarterback chores for the Wildcats. Ball is spotted on the 33 yard line for West. 
South uh, doing a workmanlike job tonight, uh, scoring on defense, offense, and special teams. There was a nice 75-yard drive, so they've done it all tonight, and it's nice to see a scatter of different things. Now sure, stepping up like he was going to blitz. Jake Sure, number 21, but uh, you got a penalty. It's going to be on uh, West. Well, we hardly had any penalties in the first half, Chris. We've uh, had a bunch here in the second. One, two, three, four so far. And we're not even halfway through the third quarter. Fake handoff, dart going deep, Johnson's. Devley making a great catch. He got behind Johnson. Dart showing a good arm, and now he's laying down on, well, that isn't uh, Dart. Somebody else laying back on about the 26-yard line, a West player. But uh, a great catch made by Tim Devley. Well, I'll tell you what, Jamal Johnson was right there. Step for step, it had to be a perfect catch and throw, and it was. Oh, uh, the trainer for uh, Sheboygan is coming out to uh, assist that uh, young man from West. We have a timeout on the field. Wind is picking up, blowing papers around. Chris, uh, nice enough to uh, go get my stuff. That's for you, Chris. Here, let's take a short break and come back while uh, we have a break in the action. If you give me a fish. If you give someone a fish. You feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. We're back at South. That uh, young man was able to walk off under his own power. Connor Story was that uh, young man for West. 44-yard pickup from uh, Dart to Devley. Fake handoff to uh, Twitty and then taking it inside for West was number 24 and uh, we don't have his name on our roster. But that was the first back other than uh, Twitty or Dart or uh, that uh, Anthony Lehman who played quarterback for a while. Pick up a three yards makes it second down and seven. Woody takes it off, tackle. Hendricks makes a stop. Ball is going to be down near the 20-yard line. Pretty good pickup for uh, Marshawn Twitty. Four yards, ball is spotted on the 21-yard uh, line. It's going to be third down and three. Well, they're definitely in range for their uh, kicker, Eric Lund Lindstrom. All right. And I believe we're going to have an offside call. Mr. Benish told me at halftime that he's a uh, foreign exchange student. Who is? He is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice pickup. <laughs> yeah, really. And by the way, <laughs> does the football team need a kicker? I do that. <laughs> How far do you kick it? Oh, half a mile. Well, now it's third and eight. That penalty went on West. And uh, you know, down by 18 points, you just can't have those kinds of penalties. You know, they were on the move. Big 44-yard pickup dart to Devley. And now they're looking at a, a third and eight. And uh, 
Fourth penalty of the half for them. Fake handoff to Twitty. Valdez rushing hard, rushing hard. Now oh, we got Brookins. Long pass. Receiver fell down Devley. Well, I'll tell you, Kevin or Eric Dart. Let me get that name right. Kevin Dart is uh, really elusive back there. He ran, him, he ran a long way and almost completed the pass. Give the uh, West offensive lineman credit too for sticking in there. And West, what are they going to do now here? See, they got their punters out there. Dart is over there. Prosser is also a receiver, Chris, so I don't think they're going to punt. I think they're going to go for it. They're taking a long time, though. Yeah, really. What? How long are you going to take here, boys? And now they call timeout. Yep. They didn't have it uh, quite together, what they wanted to do. And uh, that's a key point in the game, Chris. There's 432 remaining in the third quarter. They're down by 18. You know, if they can get a touchdown, that would certainly help their cause immensely. There you go. Which former West player followed teammate Jerry Taggy to Nebraska and then later to Green Bay? I know that one, Dave Mason. That's an easy one. Actually, my senior year of high school football, Taggy, Mason, and uh, oh, I, what's the name of that guy from uh, Green Bay Preble? He was a special teams guy, only played one year. Bob Kroll from the famous Kroll's Hamburgers in Green Bay. Those three guys all made it to the uh, to the NFL. Wow. And one of our guys, who everybody knows, John Kane, played in the Rose Bowl with uh, Jim Plunkett behind Randy Vataha, who played uh, a yep. few years in the pros. With New England. Yep. So a lot of famous players back. That's our story from the 60s. You know, we've kind of gotten away from that over the years. We had to get back to those story, stories from the 60s. Another guy from the 60s that's now living in town, Dennis... Uh, Big play here, Dart dropping back. Off his back foot, it's intercepted. Steve Bakhti on the catch. That was lucky we found out his number and name. But uh, Bakhti making the second interception of the night for Sheboygan South. Math had the other one. And a uh, West player down. I think it's the same one, Prosser. Dennis Ruppel was uh, that North player, played quarterback on one of the really good early 60s team for South, has moved back to town. And we, he's been one of our stories. He got, got injured real bad and waited like a half an hour for a ambulance to come before they finally got him off the field. <laughs> he had a compound fracture of a, in his broken leg. Anyway, back to action here at South. Nice interception made by uh, Steve Bakhti. Second interception for the South defense. There you see a nice shot of him. I can play, coach. Well, Kerry, we're waiting on that injured player. Again, why don't we take a 30 second break or so and come back. Uh, hopefully he's not injured very bad. Uh, there you see the score, 2010, we'll be right back. This is a tree that was never chopped down. To make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio. Because vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over 2 billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio-free. Rotary, humanity in motion. Hey, Chris, look at that. This is South High Red Wing. Well, we're going to be back here, Marty, in two weeks. Who does I, South have next week? They have Preble. At Preble. Yep, but I'm saying that in two weeks, that's going to be a big, big ball game. By the way, Chris, uh, that injured player was Brock Prosser, number yeah. 87. It's just saying, in two weeks, you're going to have Green Bay Southwest coming to town, and that might be a huge game because that could be playoff implications involved there. 
Actually, uh, you don't well, want to. You want to take it a week yeah. at a time, or you want to take care of business. And I know Coach Fife would rather have me saying things like, "Oh, what about next week?" Yes, you got to take care of Preble, but come standings time, Green Bay Southwest is one of those teams on the docket you're going to have to take care of them and Green Bay East. But Tom Fabian had a good question. When does when does uh, Green Bay Notre Dame and Preble play each other? And we figured out it's either going to be next week or the weekend after. First and ten south. Handoff to uh, Ray Smith, but he's uh, going to lose yardage on that play. West, uh, good penetration. Well, that game, loss of two. That's an easy one, Marty. That's games in two weeks because Notre Dame plays them the last game and Preble plays south next week, so that only leaves one week, and that would be October 14th, the game that we have here at south. That Preble and Notre Dame. Notre Dame ranked number one, Division three, I believe, and... Uh, Preble's still ranked number five. They didn't move down after last week, huh? I think they moved to number five, I thought I oh, saw. Oh, that's right. You said last week, I thought you said they were number four. Yeah, I was looking at the, there's a couple poles out, so. Schwartz gets to the outside. Now he puts it under and runs, and he's not going to get much, maybe a yard or two. South defenders on him. Tell you what, Daryl White is a large man, and he was chasing Taylor Schwartz. By the way, Taylor, you're 6'1", 165. Uh, this young man, uh, White, is 5'10", 305. Emphasis on three. If I were Taylor, I'd run a little faster. <laughs> I'd rather have one of those. We've, we've seen him. He's got good speed. I'd rather see one of those uh, 30s hit you or 20s hit you than 70s. Short, straight back. Now he pulls it under, pulling a little John Stocko action and leans forward to about the 24-yard uh, line. I was watching Darrell White there, too. He was kind of following pursuit there. He wanted to have the last little pile up there, but unfortunately for South, they're going to come up a little short here, and they're going to have to punt away. Actually, I think uh, Coach did a smart thing there, Chris. Uh, just uh, Cut your losses, punt it away. There's a 2.25 remaining. Anthony Hoytink's punt is almost blocked. He got it away just, just barely. It's a very short punt. It's going to be taken by... West is going to have it at about the 39-yard line. All that excess action came after the ball touched a south player. Yeah, I think it got somebody in the back of the foot there. I saw the, uh, the blue baggie go out from uh, Keith Bondi, so that is the uh, proper call. Oh, and they're going to call legal touching on south. I did get the, the answer to one of our questions from last week, Marty. We had a situation on a kickoff. Yes. There's actually three choices. If a kickoff goes out of bounds, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what happens, you have three choices. Number one, you can have them re-kick. Number two, you can get it at the 35, or at the 40. Or number three, you get it out where it goes out of bounds. Oh, really? Yeah, 30, cool. I think it was the 35, you get it, or you get out of bounds. In that situation, they would have had it at like the 40. Yeah, should have done that. Yes, but the choice to re-kick it was not the right Dart looking for Devley, now he, he was covered up, now he takes it and runs with it, and uh, he's knocked back. Good tackle out there by Bakhti. And another West player down. And uh, also in on the stop was Reuter, we mentioned his name a couple of times, and another West player down, you're right. And... Uh, that's uh, big number 63, Ryan Waller. The six foot senior goes 190. Kind of hole in his neck. Pickup of, uh, we'll give him three yards on the pickup for Dart and make it second down and seven. Well, good thing to see that young man get up. He's uh, still holding his shoulder or his neck area, but uh, at least he's going off under his own power. Well, we have 2.10 left in the uh, third quarter, Marty, and just the fourth possession. We see a bunch of our young fans here tonight. Always good to see them. 
at a high school contest. And I can remember when I was a young lad going to a lot of these kinds of games. Dart in the shotgun, gets the snap, steps up, fires the middle, tipped away. Good defensive play made by Ben Hendricks as he stepped in front of uh, Devely to tip it away. Gonna make it third down. Tim Devely's had a nice night, Chris. He has uh, four catches for 49 yards. Had three catches for five yards in the first half and one for 44 here in the second. Dart fake handoff. Again, he's being pressured. Valdez forced him to throw it off to his uh, fullback. Boom! What a hit made by Hendricks. But uh, West will have a first down. And uh, yeah, again, we don't have the number or name of uh, number 24, which is unfortunate. We like to give that guy credit, but uh, we can't. I think Ben Hendricks hit the, the the young man number 24 so far. He knocked him over the first down marker. <laughs> it's one of those or cases where hit him a little lighter. <laughs> I haven't used this in a in a while, but he dropped him like a bad habit. Ball on the 26, first and 10 West. And off the Twitty, a rare second half carry for him, and he's drilled down at about the 20. Making the hit was Kyle Reuter. It's a little shocking they haven't used him or he, he was a good weapon in the first half. He had 78 yards in the first half and he's got 10 here in the, in the third quarter giving him 88 yards in 17 carries. And uh, used him more on the outside of the uh, tackles as opposed to running up the middle. Showed that good speed of his. Here we go, second down and four. Hand off to Twitty again up the middle. He's hitting, push back right at the line of scrimmage. No gain for Twitty on that carry. I don't understand that call. They've gotten at times a push up the middle, Chris, not very often. He's been more successful to the outside. You know, if you run him off tackle and then he can bounce it to the outside. I don't know that uh, Brian Andrews is pretty sneaky. <laughs> Catching those uh, fleeting moments on home, when hearts are light. <laughs> on homecoming Friday night. And another wonderful night. And that's going to be the quarter, Marty. That's it. After three quarters of play, Sheboygan South on top, 28 to 10 in their homecoming, 2005. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject, and cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, because Emmy can't talk. The fact is, animals are abused all over this country, and people sit by and do nothing. They're not slick, or fly, or cool, or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do. Now, make a difference. She can't do it for herself. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. South High School there you see the uh, high school students all dressed up for homecoming 2005 having a great time on a great night yeah, third down and four for West dart under center hands it off to Twitty he bounces it to the outside but he can't bounce it far enough he's wrapped up and knocked down by Ben Hendricks or is that Steve Bakhti no nope, that's three consecutive tackles by Hendricks gonna set up a fourth down situation in about two, two and a half, we'll call it here, and West trailing by 18 is gonna go for it here. Here 
Here we go, big fourth down play for both ball clubs. Twitty's the deep back. Dart at the line of scrimmage, and now we get a timeout. Green Bay West with 11-17 remaining in the ball game. It's 28-10 South. Let us go anywhere and do anything. But the freedom to go unplugged comes with responsibility. Look at that. Wow. The responsibility to recycle. If you've got old rechargeable batteries hanging around, take them in to be recycled. It's easy, and it's good for the environment. Check us out online, or give us a call at 1-800-8-BATTERY to learn more. You get a good shot of the uh, sideline at South. Of South's 15 all-time wins against West, only three have been won by less than double-digit points. Hopefully it'll be a double-digit win tonight. All right, here we go. Fourth and two. I'll be their third third in a row, by the way. Hand off the Twitty. He's nailed right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. He's Although he did get over the line of scrimmage, but did he get the two yards he needed? Steve Bakhti there again. No way did he get this. Just put your offense on the field. That a boy defense. Come off. You're right, Ben Hendricks. Come off the field. No first down. South holds. They're going to get the ball with 11 12 remaining in the ball game. First and 10 for the Red Wings. A little shocked by that call again, Marty. South's been pretty tough up front there. And Ball spotted, I think it's on the 17 yard line, Chris, I'm not sure. It's about the yeah. 16. Ray Smith has it, cuts it back into the middle. Drags tackler, he's, he's out to the uh, 25. Nice run by Ray Smith. Pickup of about eight yards, maybe a little more than eight. We'll give him eight. It's going to be second down and two. Billmany up back, Smith the deep back. Wilson in motion. And off the Smith up the middle. He's over the 25, be close to the first down. I think he's got it. And they're going to call timeout and measure. See Taylor Schwartz trotting off or over to the huddle as the officials bring the sticks out to measure. Well, Chris, first down. <laughs> you're the man, baby. Except you're wrong. What the heck? <laughs> It's going to be third down and one. That was like a yard short. They were like over the 16. Oh, well. We'll get it on this one. They have two more downs to get it. Think they'll go right. on fourth down? And they have 45 seconds more off the clock here. Lines are set. Oh, South Blitzer missed the play. Billman breaks loose. He's at the 40, 45 and wrestled down at the 50 and the ball is stripped loose. They're gonna call it down. And again, I have to disagree with that call, Chris. I thought he lost it on the way down. I'll tell you, West is going after the ball. Nice run by Jacob Billman. It's gonna be first and 10 south. Not quite at the 49, so we're gonna Call it the 50 and give Billman a 24 yard pickup. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Chris. I really do. Wow, <laughs> that was pretty bad. I mean, he stripped him right of the ball. 
And he's standing Big up. Big handoff. Schwartz wrapped up and ripped down. Nice play, not going for the fake for Green Bay West was Kenny Farber. I'll tell you, this team is 0-5, 0-3 in conference. They've lost 13 straight games, have been outscored by 120 points in conference, been beaten by an average of 34, and I'm telling you, they fight right to the end. Got to give these Wildcats a lot of credit for hanging in there with a good South team. I'll give it to Billman first back through, but uh, West wasn't uh, fooled by that. Billman was knocked back by four different Wildcats. And even his big tackle went with them. Eric Brunig. Boygan South would just as soon let this clock just keep tricking down and hang on to the ball. Third down. And a long way. Yeah, and a long way is right. Hand off to Smith. Trying to bounce it off tackle and does. Picks up about seven or eight yards. Yeah, he looked to get about half of it back. Good run there, Ray Smith. Clipped off about three and a half minutes of the clock. Boy tanks up to punt. Now West has been coming at them a little bit. Anthony's last punt was not his best effort of the season by far. He looked to get a little better punt this time. Get West back there. Good blocking up front. His kick is away. It's a high one. And it takes a south bounce. Unfortunately, it bounces into the end zone. West will have it first and 10 at the 20. Wow, close. Good effort there by Anthony. 48-yard punt, Chris. Nothing shabby about that. But we'd have rather had 47. <laughs> Seven forty-three remaining. South on top, twenty-eight to ten. They look to uh, run their record to uh, two and two in conference, and uh, three and three overall. Flea flicker. A little flea flicker back to Dart. He wheels and deals. Jamal. Johnson making the interception. He's got some room to run. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Inside the 30, inside the 25 and knocked down. There's a flag on the play. Well, Johnson wasn't fooled at all by the flea flicker, Chris. What a nice half. Excuse me, nice game for Here Jamal you see Johnson. It. Darts pass a little underthrown, and Johnson made a good read of it. Let's see if we can get to where the illegal block was. It was hard to tell. In either case, Sheboygan South is going to have the ball. That's a third interception by uh, Kevin Dart in the ball game. And the most was four back in 67. That was my year. I don't remember that. That was when, it, that was when Taggy was a quarterback. First and 10 south. Uh-oh, blitz. Bumble. Taylor hanging on to the ball, but he's going to be ripped down at the 45. Ball was on the 37. Ooh, that's an eight-yard loss, Chris. Wow, they are really coming. And uh, i tell you, Taylor Schwartz is... Interesting. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, it's 13 yards and losses, Chris, by Taylor Schwartz in this quarter. Couple of sacks. Rolling. He's got a wide receiver. Wilson open. Duquette with a little chippy block. Enough to get Wilson open, and he's got the first down. Nice block by uh, Zach Duquette. It's going to be a little short, Marty, because of the sack. Yeah, I don't think so, Chris. Oh, yeah, they are moving it. Okay. You're, you're right on that. 
Uh, finally got something right. Yeah, got it by a yard or two here. You'll see the replay. Nice rollout, throw, and again, Gouquet. Gouquet. <laughs> and I spit that one out, Gouquet, with the nice block there. Freedom for the first down. His dad doesn't mind, just mention his name. Billman, nope, fake. Schwartz keeps it, and he's knocked down at about the 20-yard line, picks up a quick five yards. So I'll play keep away now. Do this little color coding when I you know, keep track of the plays and the uh, West has only run three plays this quarter. And South has run all the West. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will be number 11, including that one punt. Well, West had the ball three times and two interceptions. Billman uh, on the keeper, short gain. He's wrestled down by uh, Steve Gagler. Uh, And a late flag goes up. Let's we'll see who that's on. Pickup of uh, about three yards by Billman. Now let's check out the flag situation. Unsportsmanlike conduct on South. Oh boy, coach is not gonna be happy. He's got somebody getting ready to go in right now. And guess who it's going to be on? Ryan Lawrence, you remember Ryan Lawrence, don't you? Yep. He catches for the uh, JV team, but he was a long time bat boy for the Sheboygan A's. Time out, Sheboygan South with 5.29 remaining. South on top, 28 to 10. I know you mentioned Ryan Lawrence. The penalty wasn't on him. By no, 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 no. <laughs> He's getting ready to come in. He came in to replace the gentleman who got caught. That's a lot of points. Yeah, it was 48 to nothing in 2003, 50 to 12, and 2004. And now they're sitting at 28 to 10. You know, it went from a third and two to a third and 17. I wouldn't be happy if I was a coach either. Inside handoff, no, he fakes it, and then Taylor is ripped down at the 35, so he's going to lose even more yardage on that. I think South will be just happy to get this pickle over with. Something to be said about uh, just taking a loss and let that clock roll a little bit longer. Hoytink is in the punt. West not sending anyone back. Good blocking up front, Hoytink's punt is away. Uh, short one, but he gets a little bit of a nice bounce. Brookings is gonna down it at about the 14. or will make that the 16 yard line. Interesting decision by West there. I don't know if... Well, if they're gonna go for it, they ought to have 11 people up on a line of scrimmage going after him. They oh, had yeah. uh, two or three linebackers in position. They actually had the safety, like if South was going to fake it, why would South fake it when they have to get 16, 17 yards there? You mean, you might as well send the house and... What's the worst thing if they do score? Puts you down another situation there. You get a good shot of uh, number 13, Kevin Dart. He's fought hard tonight, but... Uh, yep, he's a very elusive guy. Twitty on the handoff up the middle, and uh, a little too much standing around by the West guys all of a sudden. They're not opening up anything up the middle. Yeah, and they keep just running up the middle too. That's kind of strange play calls. I think West has done two. You know, with 4.40, four minutes and 44 seconds left, I think this one's pretty much in the bank, which is really interesting what I'll talk about here after this play. Second down and 10, no gain on that last play. Dart now in the shotgun. 
Got two wide receivers off to the left. Devley, one of them. Dart is, are they gonna get him this time? He shuffles it off to his fullback who's gonna get hit for a loss. So Dart again avoids the sack, but uh, yeah, Dart is the guy down, Chris. He might be hurt. Well, there's just been a lot of interesting things tonight. There is another case. Good decision there by Dart. I was gonna say, Marty, that South wins this. It'll be the second time that they've had a three game winning streak against West. Now if you put those two situations together, that's six wins, six game streak, that means out of the other 56 games, they've only won 10. That just shows how good Dominant they've been. West was. You have two streaks of three, you know, basically <laughs> they've won the other, you know, uh, just a bunch of games. I mean, it's just amazing how many games that they've won. It's, uh, you know, we could talk about why it's happened, why, why they've fallen on hard times, and, uh, you know, might not be the, the most complimentary kind of comments to make about the city of Green Bay, but, uh, you know, that's how things happen. Yep, and uh, as I said, if you take away those two streaks, you know, basically what you have is they're 9-49 and 49 against them, and that's just, you know, phenomenal how good of a program West had for such a long time. Well, Kevin Dart is uh, going off the field underneath, under his own power, but uh, he's walking very slow and gingerly. It's gonna be, that pass, by the way, was complete for a loss of yardage. It's gonna be third down and 12 for West. They've got some playmakers. They, uh, you know, actually thought they looked pretty good on defense at times also. At quarterback, he played a little bit uh, in the first half is Anthony Lehman. Lehman 0 for 2 in the game on his passes. Fakes trying to get away from South Rushers, but he can't. He's hit and nailed. Valdez back there, Brookins back there. And they didn't catch the third guy, but there were three of them back there for South. Fourth down ball inside the 10 yard line, Chris, all the way back to the eight. Ooh, you're you're gonna see the replay and no place to go. Just a big sea of red and uh, get the sack there. West again, gonna have to call a timeout. They I, I may don't be their last timeout. You know, that's part of the problem you run into when you have uh, a guy playing as much as uh, he does, a guy, I'm talking about Kevin Dart, you know, he's on the offense, he's on the defense, and uh, probably on the special teams, too. So when he goes out, you got a lot of spots to fill. Now, wasn't Prosser their punter? Yep. And he's hurt. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're waiting for, the punter to get yeah. out there. <laughs> I think they're all looking around, I'm not gonna sit back there, you wanna sit back there and take the punt? Well, what if they rush? <laughs> 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 they all are, pick a name out of the hat. Sure, they must have some backup plan. But a well needed win for South. Brings some momentum into Green Bay Preble. We saw Preble a week ago. They're really, really fast. They're not big. I mean, South is a bigger football team than them. But one thing you should know about Preble, they are fast and they can really swarm. Now, I know this isn't the same team as uh, was it probably be two years now or three years when uh, South played that region, that game, playoff game at Oshkosh at Titan Stadium, and I thought they handled the quickness of Oshkosh that night pretty well. They'll have to do it with this ball club next week. Alex Klaus decided he's gonna be the punter. Oh, Alex, oh, fake. Twitty looking to get to the outside, but he's not, oh, he does get by Brookins, and then he's knocked out of bounds near the 25 yard line. I think he's gonna be just a hair short. He didn't quite make it to the 25, so he will be short, but uh, what the heck? That's right. Hey, I like what's going on right here and now. Swigan South got some new kids out there now. 15 yard pickup, that's oh. the longest gain oh, for- that was uh, a first down. No it isn't, South has it. I mean, that's what I mean, for South. Yeah. 
That's uh, Scott Hansen running with the ball. Yeah, I was just gonna say I like to see this. Scott Hansen, new bat player boy for uh, Futsies. His dad is Mike, recently retired. Scott picks up a quick nine yards on a burst up the middle. I like just to see these guys in the game, you're right. Also we got in there uh, Chris Nava. He had a bunch of carries last week. And they give it to Hanson. He's hit right at about the 15 yard line. May have lost a yard. It's gonna make it third down and eight. Oh, pardon me, third and two. Number 31, Chris Nava is a deep back. Hanson the up back. Taylor Short still at quarterback. Inside handoff to Hanson, he's pushed back. Uh, gonna give him a no gain on that. South content to uh, run the ball and run off the clock. We're under two minutes, it's 150 remaining in the ball game. South is gonna collect another victory. There's 145 and counting. We'll put them at uh, two and two in conference and three and three overall. Hanson, Chris Wright taking off, gonna try to get some interviews for us. Hand off to Nava, he's hitting the backfield and pushed back. Good surge by West to uh, stop South. Nava on the carry, give him a loss of a yard. Actually, it'll be a loss of two, unfortunately. First down and 10 for West. Ball spotted on the 17 yard line. Lehman dropping straight back. Looking for Devely over the middle. A little bit behind him, he can't make the catch. On the coverage was Eric Butson, number 14. We got a good shot of uh, Tim Devely. Devely's had a nice game tonight for West. And uh, back in the game is uh, Kevin Dart. Good to see him uh, okay, well enough to play. He's in the shotgun, surrounded by his running backs. Dart steps up, now drops back, fires it deep. Coming back to make the catch and the interception was Kyle Reuter, and we've called his name on and off all night. And another interception for South. You're gonna take a look at it again. A lot of time for Dart to make the throw, but just couldn't get enough on it. And it comes up short, and uh, Reuter making a good read. Tackled by Devley. First and 10 for the Red Wings. We're at 107. Through the middle is Nava, he's pushed down. At the 35, what a burst by that kid. Wow. Pickup of a quick 14 yards by Chris Nava. First and 10 south, ball on the 35. Under a minute and counting there. You see it, good blocking up front. He ripped right through one tackle and he's finally pushed down. Schwartz at quarterback. Hand off to Nava up the middle. Picks up about three. And uh, that may be the last play of the court of the game. Let's see how quickly they spot the ball and put it in play, there's 20, 25 seconds remaining. I think that might be the last play of the game. But uh, South coming up to the line of scrimmage, wanna get those kids some action. And I think Schwartz is gonna take a knee. And that'll do it.
Clock winding down, we're under three seconds. South is gonna win. Homecoming 2005 over Green Bay West by a score of 28 to 10. We're gonna take a break when we come back. Hopefully Chris Wright will have some interviews for us and uh, I'll have some final stats and we'll wrap this ball game up. There's nothing better than great fans to cheer me on in a 40 car. While watching the race, many of our fans like to enjoy a cold beer. And that's okay if you're 21, but if you choose to drink, please do so responsibly. Avoid drinking to excess and never drive drunk. Traffic deaths involving alcohol have fallen on dramatically in the last 20 years. So let's all do a part by drinking responsibly. This message is brought to you by the National Beer Wholesalers Association and this station. trip or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Thanks, Marty. With two uh, happy Red Wings here, Mike Reamer and Jamal Johnson. I thought you guys had to, you know, tough two games on the road, had to come back home, coming day, get a big win. Uh, it's always great to be back home. Uh, we haven't had much luck on the road this season, but it's good to get another win. I thought you guys, again, West stuck right with you guys and, you know, fought in there, but, uh, you know, eventually it seemed like you, your big front line kind of wore them down. Yeah, uh, our offensive line has really come together as a team. As, as long as the whole team, the defense and all the other offensive players, we've really come together in the last couple of weeks. I think another thing Coach Pfeiffer does for you guys, too, he kind of scatters pass and run in there and kind of keeps the West, uh, you know, a little bit confused. And, you know, it's a nice option. There's a lot of stuff to stop for against you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Run blocking's a little tough, so it's nice to get a break in with play action or pass just to throw the defense off a little bit. Well, we won't tell Coach that, you know, taking any breaks or anything like that. Tough game up at Preble next week. Got to keep this going. Yeah, uh, we have a little thing going. Uh, we have two more wins, and then we get to the playoffs, so hopefully next week will be number one. That's right, one, one, week, one game at a time. Yeah. Congratulations. Enjoy your homecoming weekend. Thanks. Big spark. You need, your team gave up a big run there. You got the kickoff return, 79 yards, and kind of what the team needed. People are a little bit down a little bit, but just what they needed, huh? Yeah, uh, we always want our special teams to be special, and I wanted to come out and be special tonight, especially I had a big assignment too. Well, I think that's something you, that's right. I think another key was that not only did you guys score on a special team, you got a defensive touchdown and an offense touchdown, so everybody contributed today scoring. Yeah, that's one of the things we wanted to do so we can practice. We wanted to become a like, full team, full team effort and win tonight. You also had a big punt return. Uh, you had a interception. <laughs> just must have been your night and homecoming king. Must be a pretty rough week for you. Yeah, well, I, I just want to get to the dance, have a good time this week. Yeah, had a good game tonight. Well, as Mike said too, uh, playoffs is obviously something you guys got to think about. You know, you got to take it one week at a time. Preble next week on the road and and keep this thing going. Yeah, yeah. If we can win on the road and next week in Preble and bring it back home, that'd be a, that'd be good for us. Next week. Yeah, I know they're they're a really fast team and things like that. You, you did a nice job tonight, Jamal. Well, we got two happy Red Wings sing. We'll send this thing back to, to Marty. Great job on the interviews again, Chris. Uh, one more time, not one more time, but uh, Sheboygan South, the winner tonight, 28 to 10. Some uh, statistics, South finished with uh, 234 yards in the game. They had uh, 37 carries for 163 yards, 95 of those from uh, Ray Smith. Uh, Jake Billman not used a lot, but uh, he had 71 yards and only nine carries. Uh, good job for him. And uh, Nick Wilson had five catches for 49 yards to uh, lead South. Taylor Schwartz was six for 12. No interceptions for 71 yards. For uh, Green Bay West, Marshawn Twitty had 22 carries for 160 yards to lead them. Uh, what hurt them was the passing game. Uh, West was only 7 of 18 with four interceptions. Uh, Kevin Dart did a great job of uh, eluding tacklers, but uh, had trouble finding his receivers. The reception leader for uh, West was Tim Devley. He had four catches for 49 yards. Uh, great job by the crew tonight. We had a newcomer up on top. 
was Nick Dry first. Nick, good job up on top. Uh, on the field camera was Brian Andrews. Always a quality job by him, doing a great job right now. I'm trying to duck behind that beam so he can't get a picture of me. Uh, Kerry Coutts are spinning the dials in the truck, and uh, Andy McKillop offering uh, his insights into the game, and uh, those little uh, tidbits along the way offer a lot to the broadcast. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road.